Hi, this is Richard Byrne. In this video, I want to show you the new timeline option that's available inside of Google Slides. Now, this is designed for making short timelines to include in a slide. It's not a replacement for a full-blown timeline program. So, let's go ahead and get started here and go to the Insert menu and select Diagram. And over here we have a variety of diagram types. Let's choose timeline. You can choose the number of dates that you want to display in the timeline uh, between four and six. Let's just leave it at four for now. Then you can choose the layout type that you would like here. Uh, let's use this one up here on the top. Now, you can change any element of the timeline by simply clicking on it and then you want to change the colors, choose a different color. If you want to make the lines appear a bit thicker, you can do so by changing the line weight. Now, I also may want to make each element on the timeline a little larger. And you see what happens there when I do that. And now I can make this box a little bit larger as well. Okay. So let's do a timeline here of Boston sports, uh, particularly the Red Sox. And so we'll do 2004, and we'll say Red Sox win. And we'll say first. World Series victory. Now, that font is small, so let's make it a little bit larger. And again, we can click and drag and move each element. Now, if I want to use a color, a different color instead of red, uh, we can certainly do so by going in and changing that fill color. Maybe I want to use this green color. Okay. We can change each element that way. Now, if you want to include a picture in here instead of text, okay, let's say I want to include some pictures here. I can just go in and insert an image click and drag resize it and include it down here. Okay. Likewise I can include a video in the same manner. So if I wanted to go to insert and select the video now I have a little video that I can include down here in my timeline as well. Now obviously I need to reposition each portion of this timeline so that they'll match up going across. But that's how I can start making my timeline. Now one last little trick here. Uh, if you want a little bit more room on your slides, go to the file menu Select Page Setup, and you can choose Custom, and you can change it from the default settings to something like 12 by 7. And that will change the size of your overall display when you're done. So that's how you can create a short timeline inside of Google Slides. As always, for more tips and tricks like this, please check out freetechforteachers.com and practicaledtech.com.